is Extreme Mind-Blowing Hotels. Next stop on our tour of America's most over-the-top lodgings, Dolores, Colorado. Remote mountain ghost towns. By definition, they're places people have left to rot. But tourists are actually going out of their way to visit this one in the middle of Nowheresville, Colorado. <laughs> it's an entire abandoned mining town that's been transformed into a luxurious resort. Dunton Hot Springs. Welcome to Dunton Hot Springs. It's a series of beautiful miners' cabins and cottages we let out to people. Quite off the beaten path, and it's just got a lot of history. Basically, 22 miles from a road, which is another 15 miles from a tiny place that if you blink, you miss. And this place hasn't changed much from the 1880s, when Dunton was a pioneer settlement deep in the secluded San Juan Mountains and home to miners, trappers, and even the odd gunslinger. It was a mining town, 1886 is when it was first built. But by 1918, the jobs in Dunton had dried up and it became a ghost town. But what better place to build the ultimate Old West resort? Rather than tear down this dilapidated old town, they undertook a truly meticulous and historically accurate 14-year restoration of 12 original Dunton cabins. We tried to fix them up so that we did as little to impinge on their initial character as we could. This wood has been here in its present condition since the 1880s, was hand-hewed. It looks like a ghost town from here until you get inside. It's definitely five-star easy. Well, this is Major Ross. The elk skin on the beds. Bear rugs on the floor. Guns are still up in Major Ross. The pins have been taken out of these. Nobody can go mad here. And they didn't just restore the cabins. They actually restored the original saloon to all its gun-toting, whiskey-guzzling glory. The original bar, all the back bars original. That's the old cash register over here. Well, it is a place that Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid stayed. They robbed a bank in Telluride and they came here and were at the bar. It's just like it was back in the day. Their names are carved on the bar. That's kind of nice. But it isn't just the watering hole that wows guests. At Dunton Hot Springs, they serve up luxury meals in Old West style communal dining. The food is unmatched, but it's in an atmosphere that is still very, very Western. Cheers, everyone. What a great day. And this is one action packed resort, but don't expect to be riding pack mules. If you're into snowmobiling, cross country skiing, snowshoeing, it's just a great place to come. Extreme mountains in the background right over our shoulders. 14,000 foot peaks. Ice climbing is phenomenal. We walk through the town of Dutton, and we've got ice climbing right here, quite literally in your backyard. And after risking your neck on the ice wall, it's time to unwind, just like the old 49ers used to do. Our motto is always stay up to your neck in hot water. Call it a cowboy jacuzzi. With temperatures up to 106 degrees, these natural hot springs provide the ultimate in relaxation, Wild West style. Kick off your boots and step inside the fully restored 19th century bathhouse. Welcome to the celebrated Danton Hot Springs. It has a number of minerals that everybody says are ameliorative. It really is remarkable on the coldest of days. But if you'd rather soak it in under the wide Colorado skies, there's another hot spring just steps away. To be outside in the snow, in hot water, you can't beat it. And for diehard Dunton visitors, there's only one way to cool down. <laughs> now that is invigorating. <laughs> oh, your skin tingles. <laughs> now that's one cool cowgirl. Dunton's cabins cost up to $1,100 a night. But some cowpokes like this place so much, they're ponying up 17,000 sawbucks a day to rent out the whole town so they can live out the ultimate Wild West fantasy all by themselves. Where can you live in one of these absolutely authentic 19th century cabins and get surfed while in the evenings? There really isn't anything quite like it. 